Okay, we're back once again. Oh, yes, we're back once again. Oh, yeah, we're back once again. Oh, yes, we're back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Super Mario Land to the six golden coins. And look at those water effects. That's pretty cool for a Game Boy game. Anyway, I'm Weiner Wayne here with you once again. In the last one, uh, we defeated Mario. Uh, well, we defeated Mario Zone, as it were, and we uh, found three little piggies and we blew their houses down. And now we are going to go into the pumpkin zone. Uh, spooky, look at that. There's a little witch. There's a little fire in the light. And I don't know what that is over there, but yes. Um, I... I, I hear that this is one of the harder levels, but maybe not in, as we kill Jason with a knife in his, in his head. Uh, whatever. That's not, that's not, that's not, that's not creepy at all. That's not creepy at all. Anyway, um, we continue forth. Um, I don't know. I'm recording this in one sitting, um, because it's a relatively short game and I can. Um... But I don't know how I'm going to release these videos. I think what my plan is is to go to what I was doing before, or at least trying to do before, and go Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Or at least Monday and Friday, but we'll see how that goes. Um, as of, you know, as of right now, um, that's how it's going to be. I don't know when I'm actually going to release these, so I hope I don't date myself but in any of these videos, but we'll see. Um, it might be a while. It might be a couple... Ooh, it's one of these ones. This is pretty cool for a Game Boy game to do. Uh, oh, no, no, no. oh boy, yeah, I'm gonna get hit. I was gonna get hit regardless. Um, but yeah, I don't know when I'm actually going to release these um, videos or not. I know I will, so don't worry about that. Oh god, oh, I got hit. I'm hit. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> oh. Anyway, I don't know when I'm gonna release these videos. Um, I've said that like three times now, but I really don't know. Um, so I said it three times for emphasis, I think. Um, oh, come on. Come on, get out of here. That was in the bricks. I think I got killed by the fire. Um, but, like I said, I think it's going to be Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, that way I can still do school stuff. Um, I can actually edit these a lot easier because uh, the way my classes are working out. And yada 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 bing bomb boom. Uh, that's gonna be it. Um, hopefully, you know what would be really cool that I want to do? I want to edit these. I want to edit these on stream. Um, I don't know how I can do that because I mostly do it on my Mac. That's where all of the editing goes. And my Mac's not very strong at, in terms of editing. Um, it kind of. Oh God, Dracula! Dracula! Oh, okay. Um. But I really do want to at least do one, one of these, you know, little editing streams. Because I've, I, I've watched a bunch of YouTubers do uh, editing streams, and I've really enjoyed them. And I don't know why they don't do them more. It's like, you get to see, oh, come on, really? Couldn't at least give me three lives? Anyway, we'll go forth. Um, I don't think you want to get hit by the tongues. Ouch. Or the umbrellas, for that matter. Um, but I really do, like, it, it, it helps me out when I watch, um, like, one of my favorite, uh, YouTubers is Pro Jared, and he does editing streams every once in a while, and I know I've seen, uh, Gerard the Completionist do an editing stream a while back, um, and I really enjoyed watching those, because it's so, it's so interesting how they do that, and they all use Premiere, and I use Premiere, so I, I just want to learn, and they don't do as much, and I, I really wish they would do more. Wait, hold on. What's this? I can be on here. This is weird. Anyway. But yeah. So maybe... And I'm also afraid to do editing streams because I'm not the best editor in terms of how I do it. I know there's a lot of shortcuts in, on the keyboards and stuff and I don't use them ever because I that's just not how I work. So I'm afraid that if I did that people will be like, oh, you, you struck it. You, you do this, do this. And I don't want to... I don't want to do it. I don't want to get... I don't want to get yelled at. <laughs> I hate getting, that's actually one thing I hate. I hate getting yelled at. Have you... Uh, and I, I blame that on my... You know, on my parents. Because <laughs> they had to yell at me a lot because I was a... I was a stupid kid. Um, but I absolutely hate getting yelled at. It is not fun. Um, as 
this boot kills me. Hopefully not. Um, in fact, every time I get yelled, I, I usually... Oh, come on. I can't even... I'm sad. Oh, hold on. I can I can get that. I can get that carrot. I can get that carrot. Damn. Damn it. Oh, come on. Boom. Perfect. All right. You can't do a spin jump with the carrot, so... You can only do it when you're uh, when you have the super mushroom, or if you have the uh, if you have the fire flower. But you can't do it when you have a carrot, and you can't do it when you're um, small. But um, where was I going with that? Oh, I hate yelling, getting, getting yelled at. I do. <laughs> it's not fun. I always tense up. Like I always feel like, like why are you most of because most of the time I feel like why are you yelling at me when you can just you know talk to me like a reasonable human being. Why do you have to yell at me? And I get yelled at a lot, because, again, I'm not the... Oh, come on, no! Oh, wait, no. I'll take the fire flower. I might need that. I think I can leave. I know if... I know you can leave the other... The other mini game, the bonus mini game, early if you want to. And this is this level. Um, I like the music in these levels. It's really cool, especially this one. I like this one. Um, but wait until we get to the... Uh, one of my favorite levels in the game, which is probably... Um, I wouldn't say it's the hardest, um, as we, um, go past a ghost Goomba, which, uh, we will, we will not, uh, we will not reference. Uh, it's just a ghost Goomba. You can't jump on him, I don't think, so I'm not gonna try. Um, but they're ghost Goombas, so, uh, what, 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 I don't know how, I don't know how they died. Maybe they're the ghost of Mario's past, you know, like one of those Goombas was the first Goomba that Mario ever killed. You know, and then, you know, it, it's, it, it, that's kind of morbid to think about, actually. But. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I am sinking slowly to my death. Oh, no. Oh, oh, whoa. I can't escape. Oh, wait, I can't. What? Get out of town. I didn't know that. If I would have known that, I would have just straight down. I, I thought I was gonna die. But then, but then I was, I was kind of wondering, like, why am I taking so long to fall? Like, I should be dead. Anyway. Oh, no! Aha! You've missed, sir. I am better than you. Ah, oh, it's one of these things, huh? I really do like this. This is actually pretty cool. Pretty cool concept, and pretty cool that the Game Boy can actually do this. Is actually capable of that. Uh, anyway, we'll have some more Game Boy games to play, I'm sure. I had a lot of Game Boy games growing up. I remember there was this one. Um, what was this that show called on the WB Kids? Um, it wasn't it wasn't the Rubik's Cube, but it was like Cubics. I think it had to deal with robots. I had a racing game for the Game Boy Color. Um, I never watched the show either, and I don't know how I came across it. I don't even know how I came across this game. I'm pretty sure I stole this game. I'm honestly sure I, I stole this game. Because I don't remember anybody ever buying it. And I don't remember wanting it. I didn't even know it existed. In fact, I didn't even know the game... There's a separate... Um, that Game Boy games and Game Boy Color games were separate from each other. I thought they were all the same. So, yeah. I think it might have been my uncle's. Because he had a Game Boy case. and With the original Game Boy, no less. And... Um, it had Tetris, and it had uh, Kirby's Dream Land, the original Kirby game. Um, one of two Kirby games that I played and completed. Um, the other one being uh, Kirby's 64, the sacred... Or not the sacred sh stars, the uh, the crystal star, uh, shards, rather. Um, haven't actually completed, completed that game, but I have beaten the first part of it. Um... So I don't play a lot of Kirby games, but it had that, and it had Tetris, and I believe it had also had Dr. Mario, too. And I think that was the first time I learned that there was a difference between Game Boy games and Game Boy Color games. And I... This game might have been included in that, but I don't think so. I don't rem I, I just don't remember how it, it came to be. Um, but yeah. Um, I think there's, like, power-ups in these well, pipes, but I don't know. There we go. Okay, so. And there's power-ups in all of the, Well, there's something in all of them. You can't actually... You have to go back to this one in order to utilize them. So you don't want to fall in there. Unless if you want another power-up. 
Oh. Yes. I can't kill the ghost. I don't know why I tried. And we fight the witch. It's a witch. I don't know where the witch is. Oh, gotcha. So fire would be pretty useless here because we can't actually hit it with fire. In fact, I died. I got hit twice. Oh boy, I'm not gonna try. Okay, I was gonna try. I wasn't gonna try, and then I was gonna try, and I died. Yeah, cool, awesome, great, great, awesome. Synonyms. Anyway, so we go forth. We gotta go back into get that freaking witch again. Ugh. Oh, what the heck? Oh, I think the frame rate dropped. That was weird. Like, I thought I had a, a higher jump, but I think once all those enemies came in, the frame rate just dropped. I don't know about you guys, but frame rate doesn't really bother me so much. Um, but when it drops, it's... Like, I know a lot of people have problems when... Like, have a, pro have a problem with some games that run at, like, 30 FPS, and I'm like, okay, it's not that big of a deal to me. Um, but I... But again, then again, I do like games that run in 60 FPS. But, uh, in fact, I prefer those kind of games. But, it doesn't bother me so much, but when they drop... If, if they say that, oh, this game runs perfectly at 30 FPS and it drops, then that I don't... I have, a, I have a small issue, just a little small one. But an issue at that. Because there's a lot of games... I find that most of the time it's the Wii U games that run perfectly at 60 FPS. And that it's the PlayStation games and the Xbox. Well, I don't actually have an Xbox, so I can't say for certain if that's the case, but... I don't know. I think Nintendo gets a bad rap for having, like, low quality... What? Get out of here. Low quality, like, it, the system isn't as powerful as the PS3 or, you know, the Xbox One. And it's not. It certainly is not. But that doesn't mean it should be shunned for that. I think graphics... Um, because people put a lot of emphasis on graphics, and I'm like, well, graphics is the, should be the least of the worry, of your worries. I mean, right? Because to me, there's four good things, there's four qualities that make a, 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 a game good. It's whether or not, um, it's how it looks, it's how it sounds, it's, uh, how it plays, and if there's a story, how good the story is, if there's a concept... Um, say like Splatoon, there's not really a story there. The concept of Splatoon is very good. I like that concept. It's kind of like, you know, it's not, it's kind of like Nintendo's answer to Call of Duty, even though it's nothing like Call of Duty. I like that concept. Um, graphically, it's amazing. You know, um, I, um, the way it sounds is amazing. I like the soundtrack for Splatoon. And this is just one example, of course. And then, um, how it plays. It plays pretty good. Maybe not the best, but it plays pretty good. Did I get, did I get it? Yeah, I got the witch! Ah! Sorry. And then the, the fire's just gonna keep burning. Alright, that's the pumpkin zone. But yeah. <laughs> Going back to the game thing, that's, that's just my theory. That's just my, uh, opinion on the matter. Um, I don't think graphics are that important. You know, you'll see game, uh, we'll, we'll go on, we'll go on with this discussion in the next episode as we go into the house, um, as we're tiny, we're little tiny little baby Mario, but we'll do all that in the next one. So, if you like this video, give it a like, if you like me, subscribe, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good day, my friends.